Welcome to today's video. Today, I'm gonna share with you guys a really quick, easy, everyday makeup look. Uh, so we are gonna have like a full face. It's gonna look like we've put a lot of effort into our makeup, but it's really gonna be quick and simple. I'm using products that are just easy and quick to apply, but that really give a lot of bang to the buck. Is that the term I wanna use? Um, so let's go ahead and get started. I do ha I have applied all my skincare, my moisturizer, my eye cream, my SPF, all that good stuff. But because it's cold outside and it's winter, my skin already feels like it has absorbed it all and I've applied nothing. So the primer that I'm gonna to use today is a very moisturizing primer. I definitely kind of um, put all the matte primers in the back of my drawer this time of year and I go for primers that have a lot more hydration. I love the Tula Face Filter Blurring and Moisturizing Primer because not only is it moisturizing, it has probiotics that help moisture and lock in hydration, but it also has like this beautiful light luminosity to it. So it gives the skin a very, very natural looking glow. Um, this part of the video is sponsored by Tula. So I do want to thank them for partnering with me on this, um, to partner with me on this video. I was so excited to try their products. I had specifically seen so many of my friends rave about their eye balm. It's like one of their cult favorites and I've been using that for a few weeks. So I'm going to kind of share a little bit more about that shortly, but what I love about this primer is it has all the benefits of a normal primer in that it helps prime your skin for makeup. It helps your foundation wear all day, but I love the added hydration and the slight glow that it gives. Um, it feels so, so nice. So this is going to, I wouldn't completely supplement my moisturizer for this, but this is a great add on to your winter makeup routine. Um, so now that I've applied that, I'm going to go ahead and apply my foundation. Now the foundation that I've been using and loving is by La Mer. Um, it's their soft fluid long wear foundation. Now <laughs> I know I'm going to get some slack for this because this foundation is so expensive. Um, and actually, now that I'm saying this, I do remember, I need to remember to share this with you guys. I did a dupe video where I compared the L'Oreal um, Pro Glow foundation to this, and it was just as good. Um, but I don't have that one here. That one's at the office, so we're going to use this one. Um, and I'm going to apply this in the center of my face starting, kind of press it to get a lot of coverage. What I like about this foundation is it has SPF, SPF of 20. I also love that it uh, is long wearing. It truly is long wearing and it really does give the skin a natural glow. Combined with the Tula face primer, it is such a beautiful, beautiful, natural, long wearing glow. I feel like sometimes, you know, not sometimes, a lot of times, it's hard to find that balance. You know, you can get a beautiful glow, but then four hours you look in the mirror and it looks like your foundation is sliding around your face. This one does not do that. So I love that. Um, it's just very natural. It makes the skin look flawless and natural and it doesn't look like you have a lot of makeup on the skin. So I'm gonna apply this in the center of the face. I've had a little bit of redness in the center of my face. I think it's just from the dry weather being a little bit drier in the skin. And I've had to kind of uh, switch some of my skincare products because some of the like exfoliators that I were using are just too harsh this time of year and I've had some redness. What I love about the Tula primer is that it has licorice in it, which actually helps decrease and kind of um, that irritation and also um, like even out the skin tone. So just before I apply concealer, I've been using the Tula Rose Glow and Get it eye balm. I was so excited to try this, you guys. The um, original Glow and Get It eye balm, I think that's the name of it, is like, I have seen so many people talk about it, and I've been using that this month, and I love it. And then I just started incorporating this one into my routine, which has all the same benefits. So for me, what I love most about this is it has a cooling sensation, so it really helps um, soothe and like calm down or uh, with any like puffiness under the eyes, which I really have. I feel like I wake up every morning and my under eyes are so puffy, which... I drink a ton of water. I think there's a lot of like, I think I have taken too much sodium. I don't know. But this, the cooling and the caffeine will really help with that. The caffeine really stimulates the under eye area, similar to caffeine stimulates our body. So it really wakes it up. That's, I used to use, when I was a, when I did a lot of wedding makeup, I would always apply a product with caffeine under the eyes on brides immediately because it just helped like wake, wake you up. Um, it also has hyaluronic acid. So it's going to help um, kind of retain moisture. It's a really great product to use just before concealer. I, ooh, 
I still use my normal eye cream in the morning because I need that, that hydration, but this is a great product to incorporate into your makeup routine. I love it. It also has a really warm luminosity to it. So, uh, it's like universally flattering on all skin types cause it's that warm kind of luminosity. Uh, but it also helps with dark circles. So if you're someone that has like dark circles and you feel like concealer alone doesn't quite cover it, this is going to help because those, that luminosity is going to reflect light and just brighten under the eye area. So the concealer that I've been going back to is the Revlon Candid Concealer. I love this concealer, you guys. It is um, so nice. It's very like, it gives great coverage, but the texture of it feels very nice and hydrating. It doesn't feel thick or cakey at all. I feel like it really blends into the skin really nicely. I'm actually gonna use, you know what? I have my Sigma brush, my F59. Um, I'm gonna use that one to apply it under the eyes. And on top of that um, balm, it's so beautiful. I do have a 15% off uh, discount code for you guys for the Tula. It's Lisa J Makeup. I'll have all the information in the description box below. So you can get 15% off um, Tula products with that code. I've been trying some of their other products, their face wash I've been using, and I really, really like it. It's got a gentle exfoliator to it. So for this makeup look, I know I said it's gonna be quick and I feel like I've been taking my time with skin, but it's really about skin. I'm not gonna do a whole lot on the eyes. I'm gonna keep the lips pretty like sheer and glossy. For me, if I can get my skin to look healthy and glowy this time of year, I feel like that's the fe feature that I'm gonna focus on. It's amazing how dry skin can affect the way your makeup looks. It's just crazy, you know? It's not necessarily the makeup product or the tools, it's actually the condition of the skin. So when it's lacking hydration and moisture, when you can find products that kind of supplement for that, it'll make the world a difference. Okay, now I actually don't go in and apply, um, I haven't been applying powder the last, I would say week or two, um, because it's been so dry, I don't really feel like I need it right away. I'll just set it in the center of the face, but I'll go and apply my bronzer first. I'm using the Marc Jacobs um, Omega Bronzer. This is one I've been using for a long time and I really love it. I like the color of it because it's kind of warm. Ooh. If you don't apply powder, like I didn't set this with powder, you'll notice that your bronzer and your blush will go on a little more intense because you haven't set that foundation. So it's almost, it's almost a little tacky. So it really grabs the pigment from the bronzer. So I'm gonna just blend that in real good with a big fluffy brush. This is the bronzer brush by BK Beauty. It's the one of three. And I'm gonna run that across my temples. Okay, for blush, I have been using the blush by Tarte. It's called Party. Um, this is a blush I like to use. I like the shade of it when I'm just doing kind of a real quick makeup look because it's very neutral. It doesn't really... Um, it just looks like a natural flush to the cheeks. It's very easy to wear. Uh, so I'll just pop this on my cheeks a little bit. It doesn't have any shimmer to it. When my skin's more dehydrated, I feel like my pores are more noticeable. So when I feel like they're more noticeable, I use more matte products on the cheeks. Okay, now for the eyes, I got, where is it? I got this set from um, my Proscription Beauty Box. It's the Laura Mercier Eyes of Gold Mini Caviar Sticks, and I love them. I'm gonna use the, um, I've got two here. I've got the Rose Gold and then the Copper. I'm actually gonna use the Copper on my lid. Uh, I like these products for really quick application because they're just literally like so quick and easy to use. It looks like you've applied eyeshadow though. I'm just going to kind of really run this across my entire lid. Now they have a creamy texture to them, but you do have to blend them out pretty quick because once they dry, they set. They don't really move. They don't stay creamy. So you want to make sure that you blend them out before they do that. And I'm just taking my finger and just running it over the crease just so it's a nice soft faded blend. I am going to apply a crease color just to give a little more definition to my eyes. I'm using the 201 brush and I'm actually going to use my bronzer. We're just going to go in here with my bronzer to give a little dimension to the eye. You can see what that does compared to without having it. And you can kind of build it up as much as you want. I wanted to build it so there's enough definition, but I also want to be quick with it. Okay, then I'm going to pop a, a little brow highlight and any basic kind of, any your basic brow highlight will do. Mine is matte. I like, uh, I like a brighter matte underneath my brow. Okay, so for brows, I have a little pencil in them, but I'm going to run the Glossier Boy Brow into my brows. 
I do think this is my favorite brow gel for the days that you're in a really big rush and maybe you only want to use one product. I find that this one offers enough color. Granted, I have a darker color that I don't have to even use a pencil. Then on my upper lashes, I'm going to run a like copper uh, dark pencil. This is by Pixi. It's the Endless Silky Eye Pen in the shade Bronze Beam. And I am just going to create a nice thick line on the outer part here. Okay, so it's pretty thick and chunky. I feel like I do need to go and kind of blend that out a little bit. I'm gonna use a smudge brush by BK Beauty. And I'm not even putting product on it, I'm just running it across the line just to smoke it, smudge it out. All right, and then last, I'm gonna take that um, Laura Mercier caviar stick and I'm gonna run it on my lower lash line. These are so good, you guys. This color is beautiful. It's like a really, really light copper, like a very light colored penny almost. Um, for lashes, I'm gonna apply my Dior primer. This is my favorite lash primer. It makes such a difference and I need it with these sad little lashes. I know that I just removed my lash extensions and you guys are probably so sick of hearing me go back and forth about it, but I want them back. It's, a, it's such a dilemma for me because I love the way lash extensions look. Um, after I have them for a couple months, I kind of get tired of the maintenance of them because they are a lot of maintenance. I get tired of like not really being able to like clean my eyes, like really scrub them, you know, because you can't do that with lash extensions. But my eyes are so sensitive and I find when I wear mascara, they're really sensitive. Um, my eyes itch, they get really red when I have mascara on. So I, and I notice that they don't do that with lash extensions. So I've been, I've been wearing mascara for the last couple of, I don't know, it has been a month or so since I removed them. And I noticed that my eyes feel more irritated. At least I think it's related to the mascara, unless it's just a total coincidence in my, and you know, mold or whatever is high here. I don't know. It just seems like a big coincidence. So the mascara I'm using is the um, Essence Lash Princess. This is a new product I pick up, picked up based on your recommendation. I really like it. I do think it irritates the heck out of my eyes. And um, so I don't know, if you guys have a great mascara you recommend that for sensitive eyes, if you have sensitive eyes and you find that a lot of mascaras irritate them and you have one that does not, please let me know, I would love that recommendation. I have heard so many great things about this mascara and then some people say it flakes and it's a big mess but the waterproof version is better. I haven't tried the waterproof version. I do think I like this one but I don't feel like it makes my lashes look pretty. Like it makes them look long but I feel like they kind of look a little clumpy. I mean you can work with it and get a good lash but you do have to work with it so it's kind of going against my video concept here of like really quick makeup. I just wanted to grab this and show you guys because I told you I would report back on it. And for lips, I'm kind of like a one lip product and go kind of girl lately. Um, now, this is a new product. This was actually sent to me by Christian Audette. It's the shade Mistletoe, Miss Mistletoe. Um, it's really pretty. It's like a really nice rosy pink, but it has a good level of color to it. So it's not, I wouldn't really classify this as a nude. Ah, I love it. It's really pretty, really, really pretty. I like it because I feel like it's enough color, but it's still not too much, you know? If you are more of a nude, neutral kind of girl like I am, this is definitely neutral, but you feel like you want a little color on the lips if you have your eyes a little bit more simple. I think this works really well. And so this is the finished look. Really simple, clean, and polished makeup. I feel like you could accomplish this in about 10 minutes. I've been filming for 20, so this video is definitely gonna be longer than 10 minutes, but keep in mind, you know, it takes a little longer when you're explaining. I do wanna thank Tula for sponsoring this video. I will have all the information with my promo code, which is Lisa J Makeup, in the description box below. You get 15% off of um, their website. Uh, I cannot recommend this primer enough. Um, it's great for all skin types, but if you have dry skin, especially or normal skin, and you're looking for a hydrating primer, such, I, I cannot recommend it enough. It's going to give all the benefits of a makeup primer, but it's going to give you added hydration and give you that really subtle glow. Pair it with a glowy foundation, pair it with a matte foundation. Today I used it with a La Mer, but I also love it with my Dior Forever matte foundation because that foundation is matte and this just gives it a subtle bit of glow and life to the skin. So really, really love that. And if you're looking for a product, if you feel like your concealer looks dry and cakey and you feel like the texture under your eyes is amplified by concealer, um, try using a product right before you apply your concealer, whether that's an eye cream or something like this. What I love about the Rose Glow and Get It Balm is that you can use it over makeup. So you can apply it underneath your eyes like I did, but you can also apply it over. So now that I've applied my makeup, if I wanna apply it just over and then just kind of blend it in with my finger, 
it just gives you, do you see the difference between those two eyes? It just gives you a little bit of a luminosity and brightness under there. So you can use it on top of makeup, keep it in your purse, touch up throughout the day, add a little bit of a glow or hydration to the skin. It's a really nice, versatile product and it just feels amazing. I like to keep mine in my skincare fridge um, and then bring it up here before I apply my makeup. So thank you Tula for sponsoring this video. Thank you guys for watching it. As always, I hope you guys have a fantastic day and I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys.